be focusing on gratitude and thanksgiving. Just like the Native Americans and the pilgrims shared their bountiful harvest, we are going to talk about sharing in this book called Too Many Mangoes, A Story About Sharing. This book is written by Tammy Pai Pai and illustrated by John Robinson. Too Many Mangoes, A Story About Sharing. Kama and his sister Nani love to climb the giant mango tree when they visit their grandpa's house. Kama can climb up high. He helps Nani find a special branch to sit on. Grandpa comes outside and asks Kama to pick some mangoes. Kama reaches and tugs on the mangoes and one by one passes them to Nani and she passes them to Grandpa. There are big ones, small ones, ripe ones, green ones, and some have little brown spots on them. Grandpa looks over the huge pile of mangoes. He says, there are too many mangoes for our little family. Take some down the road and share them with our neighbors. Kama and Nani load the mangoes in a little red wagon and pull it down the road to the first house. Aloha, Antipua. Grandpa said to give some mangoes to you. Nani explains, explains. Mahalo children, these mangoes will make delicious mango bread, says Auntie Pua. These spots are perfect. Here are some banana macadamia nut muffins that I baked this morning. Mahalo for sharing, says Auntie They see their friends at the next house. Kama and Nani sing out, Aloha, Mommy and Kawaii. Grandpa has too many mangoes. Ooh, I love to eat fresh ripe mangoes, says Mommy. They both take a few golden yellow ones and say, Mahalo for the mangoes. Here are some papayas for your family. Kama and Nani visit the next neighbor. Aloha, Mr. Wong. Grandpa has some mangoes for you today, Kama says. He takes a few green mangoes and says, green mango with shoyu, vinegar, and chili pepper water is the best. Mrs. Wong made some guava jam. Here is a jar for you. Each neighbor that they visit gives them something in return. Lonnie likes pickled mango. She takes the half ripe mangoes and gives Kama some bananas. Liko prefers to sprinkle leaking powder on her mango. The leaking flavor makes the mango sweet and sour. She gives Nani a beautiful orchid plant from her yard. They finally went to every house on the block and realized that although the mangoes were gone, their wagon was completely full. Grandpa sees Kama and Nani returning home. Nani excitedly tells Grandpa, we were able to share all of our mangoes. Kama shows Grandpa all of their mahalo gifts from the neighbors. Nani puts the orchid plant on the table. Kama gives each of them a muffin with guava jam on it, and Grandpa combines the bananas, papayas, and mangoes together to make a fresh fruit salad. Nani picks up a big slice of mango. She smiles and says, we're lucky Grandpa had too many mangoes. The end. Thank you for joining us today as we talked about Too Many Mangoes, a story about sharing. And please join us for our activity as we make a wreath for Thanksgiving.
Mahalo.